Are they worth it? This is the question that is posed to me the most out of all questions possibly conceived by my community, by the Fortnite community. This is the question that I see the most. And not just me, a bunch of other YouTubers, a lot of them cover this question too. In fact, it's in their thumbnails. You know, is this new weapon? Is this new hero? Is this new fill in the blank worth it? And it's almost an impossible ask because it's all up to the player at the end of the day. The weapons, the guns, they can be good, they can be bad, they can be whatever you want them to be. If you feel like putting all the time and resources into leveling up a gun, guess what? It's probably going to be good. But today, we're checking out the Lunar Weapons. Now usually I say brand new, but can't do it on this case because it's been a year since this game has released these llamas and luckily enough I have them all so I'm gonna bring you this video a little early and I'm gonna do it a little different as I'm going to go over every single ranged weapon from these new llamas in one video there's a couple of reasons for this one there's only one or two quote unquote good ones there's only two that you would really ever level up or use unless you're a brand new player and these are your first weapons if you are a collector or if you're towards the end game there's not much here to be too excited about number two we're only doing the ranged weapons i'm gonna save the melee weapons for another day but just a quick tip the sword is decent the spear is trash and the hammer is actually quite good also another side note the heartbreaker bow is considered a lunar dragon weapon so we're going to include that into this video as well now i've done this video kind of before my top five assault rifles the number one is actually going to be the number one for this one too even though this isn't the same kind of list uh this is just a breakdown and a review of each weapon we're gonna show you which one it is but if you guys want to check out that video it's a little outdated but the number one weapon in fact playing with it again feels so good i forgot how good that weapon is so if you haven't had a chance to get one please do grab it i'm going to tell you guys why it's so damn good because it really really is it does a lot of unique things that don't happen elsewhere in the game so with all that out of the way let's jump right into this and let's get into the lunar weapon the lunar llama review What kind of weapons should you expect from these Lunar Llamas? Well, there are a total of seven ranged and three melee. So that's what you have to look forward to as long as we're to believe everything is going to be in them. But like I said, you're only looking for one. We have the Dragon Rifle, the Dragon's Fury, that's a rocket launcher, the Dragon's Might, that's a weird shotgun, we're going to talk about it, the Dragon's Claw, weird sniper rifle, again, talk about it, Heartbreaker Bow, Dragon Fire, and lastly, the... Easter egg launcher. I don't know how that fits into the Chinese New Year, but I guess Jesus, I, I don't know. But let's get into it right now. Let's break these weapons down. I'm going to classify them a little bit. And if I think the build needs to be specific to the gun to have it perform the best, uh, I will tell you guys exactly how to roll it. Remember when I said every gun is decent as long as you level it up? That goes for every gun in the game except this thing. The Dragonfire is the worst gun in the game in my opinion. It is terrible. The reasons being it has terrible damage drop off. Unheard of actually where just bullets stop doing damage randomly. The damage in general is subpar. The reload speed is long and it has nothing unique about it. Skip this gun. Be upset if you get this gun. In fact, I'm not even going to talk about it anymore. Pass that gun up. Up. let's get into something a little more interesting the dragon's fury the weapon the rocket launcher that you're going to receive from these lunar llamas crit chance crit damage reload and snare are all mandatory on this gun although you can change into base damage i would definitely go with this build snare is the key here this rocket launcher is different than any other one in the game and it is a cc crowd control monster this rocket launcher doesn't do a lot of damage in fact it does very minimal damage but what it does that nothing else can do is lock down an entire group of enemies but be careful it does lag out your game it basically shoots a rocket that lands and it blows up as like a firework and keeps a three second explosion on the husks that constantly push them 
and breaks their impact and can stun them. Throwing these at two in basically a second into a group of enemies and something hard it will literally stun lock them or if you're really lucky it can even push them off of the map i recommend this rocket launcher especially if it's like your first rocket launcher if you don't have any other one in the game and this you're just starting and you have these llamas available and you get this thing and you want to level it up sure thing just know that rocket launchers are costly and you can't always just spam them as as you want you may think you're doing great in a mission and then realize you have no powder left to make any more rocket launchers and then you're in a rough spot if you're an og in this game gas traps plus the dragon's fury is kind of insane includes slow spikes and stun lights on top of that and you literally will stun groups i mean every husk in the game that's walking through a tunnel just literally stun them so they cannot move it's definitely worth checking out you don't even need to perk it up because like i said it does minimum damage at best and use it as a crowd control tool it is really really good for that do i recommend it yes especially for a new player but put it on the back burner if you have some time in the game Just like ninjas, snipers aren't in the best spot in Fortnite either, and I don't know why, it just has something to do with the scope. The game just isn't meant to be played with a scope, I guess. The scopes are very minimal effort and they just don't feel good. They never really need the zoom, the damage drop off is too high anyway for it to really matter, just snipers aren't in the best spot. But we're going to take a look at the Dragon's Claw. The Dragon's Claw is at least unique enough to be interesting and fun, however, I probably wouldn't recommend it because it's a sniper. One cool thing about this, which I'm not sure if we're going to get these perks anymore, is it used to come with a perk that was spawn a Roman candle on defeating of an enemy. This can happen quite often and Roman candles back in the day used to be terrible. However, now they're pretty good. They hit decently hard and the weapon itself has an AOE shot to it. What it does is it doesn't shoot a bullet, it shoots a firework. That firework sticks into the target and then explodes. However, be careful here because you can explode propanes which will really screw up your game. So you gotta be careful of when to use this. Same thing with defenders, you're not gonna really wanna give it to them because again, if they miss or if they shoot shoot a propane it will blow it up but it's definitely a fun gun it's unique it's one of my moderators on my streams favorite weapon space taco she loves this thing and it's it's a fun gun and because it's so unique it might be worth leveling up if you have some spear spare experience if not then you know you can skip this one it's a sniper like i said so not the best anyway the next sniper we're going to talk about is the Heartbreaker. This one is interesting. Originally made as a meme weapon, something you do in super late game Fortnite just to have fun. Uh, I kind of like it. To be honest, I'm playtesting it for this. I kind of like it. It has a unique perk of extra 30% damage while aiming down sights. These are the perks, by the way, I would put on it. There's only really one way you're going to go on this weapon. But here's the thing. You only have three slots, correct? And will this ever fit into your build? No. Does it get outclassed by a lot of things? Sure. But remember that it does pierce. It does hit, I mean, hard. I believe in this video I hit for 420k and that pierces. So it's infinite as long as the enemies are lined up. It's definitely worth a shot. If you have the bonus XP or if you're new to the game and are looking for a sniper, it also works on defenders. Pick it up, try it out if you guys want to. It's time to get into the fun stuff, the Dragon's Might, the weird shotgun that came out last year on the Lunar Event that everybody thought was terrible, and it is. This is the epitome of a meme gun. This gun is so bad, yet so good at the same time that I just can't get enough of it. It completely destroys every little husk, big husk, it doesn't matter, it does a surprising amount of damage, and this isn't even perked up. There's not one damage perk on this gun, it's all mag size and reload. Just look at the, just look at the reload animation. 75% reload, double magazine size, and slow and snare. Like I said, it had no damage perks on it, and I don't think it needs it. It hits hard enough. 190,000 damage per second. 
It's pretty crazy. It does great single target damage as well as you can see right here, almost one-shotting a Smasher. Another perk that it has is that the little M80s can get behind refrigerator husks and kill them pretty much with ease. It is a great clearing, you know, mass husk weapon a tunnel weapon if there's no propanes or encampments but there are some downsides to this weapon as well don't get it twisted this weapon eats ammo like it for breakfast i went through over a thousand ammo in one mission a thousand ammo not only that i went through the entire durability of this gun so one gun plus a thousand ammo just in one mission is kind of nuts also not sure on this, but it probably ignites propanes, most likely. I don't see why it wouldn't. So that's another thing to be careful of as well. But for encampment missions, defenses, anything that might be near you that's kind of overwhelming you, or if you're playing a character that doesn't have an AoE ability, like, you know, the ground pound or, you know, uh, shock tower, this weapon can definitely be used in its stead. Check this one out once you get it. Level it up. Tell me what you guys think about it down in the comments below if you have it, if you've tried it. It's a lot of fun. And I think that's very important in Fortnite today. I'm not going to lie. It took me a lot of tries to record this part of the video. Talking about the dragon's roar is kind of hard because I'm trying to fit it into like a two minute, you know, review period. And there's just so much to talk about this gun. So excuse me if it's a little all over the place my apologies in advance but let's talk about the gun you're shooting for with these lunar llamas this weapon has so many unique things going for it number one it has piercing bullets now they don't pierce refrigerator doors but they do pierce through husks i believe it's up to three but don't quote me on that piercing is very underappreciated in Fortnite when it shouldn't be it makes every gun so much better because technically we're playing a tunnel defense game if you're playing the game correctly I guess in air quotes everything's going to be coming through choke points and this pierces through enemies not only that it has a unique modifier on it where it does burn damage burn damage is like affliction but better for the first three seconds at least at my level it hits for 13k per second for the first three seconds and you can reapply that uh, every every husk it hits so not only does it pierce it hits for 13k it puts that burn modifier on anything that it taps your sixth perk now here's where it's going to get interesting not sure what perks they're going to release with these weapons maybe we're going to have the shield on crit or the roman candles come back who knows but my suggestion would be one of two one is affliction so they can double stack you have that unique burn modifier on this gun but you can also have affliction ending up with like 50k damage over time it's pretty nuts or slow and snare since it is a piercing gun you can pierce through multiple targets and apply that snare to all of the targets in a line the gun shoots super fast another thing to take into consideration is that Rio and other characters didn't exist when this gun came out and now they do this gun is made for characters like this urban assault headhunter Rio these are the characters you want to play with this now let's talk about roles real quick and don't forget guys I did a video about this gun it was my number one assault rifle in the game granted it's a little outdated but it still holds true this gun is fantastic I forgot how much fun it is to use now the roles you can do on this are kind of all over the place but this is how i like mine with fire rate and a base damage build it just shreds everything crit chance crit damage might give you more dps but i really enjoy the fire rate one last thing to note is that weapons now sometimes come with three crit chance crit damage rolls before it was one utility and two damage rolls if this dragon's roar rifle comes out with better rolls or the newer rolls it's going to be top top tier i promise you when i do these videos i mean for them to be 10 to 12 minutes long they always seem to go over and as such we're gonna not talk about the easter egg launcher i have an assumption that it's not going to be in the llamas and is going to be re-released in the store so maybe we will cover it then but these are all of the lunar weapons minus the melee ones that are going to be expected out today so 
hopefully this guide this little review list helped you out you guys know what to look for you know what to roll or how to roll them or anything in between make sure to pick up the dragon's might if you guys have extra experience laying around it's a really fun weapon you're looking for the dragon's roar though that gun it's just it it I don't have the words to explain how fun and good it is so hopefully we'll get the better roll system on it and then i can make a new one and maybe make another video about it because it is that damn good but that's it ladies and gentlemen if you guys want to come over and check out the stream i'm probably live right now and this is all the content that you're missing And that's it, guys. Thank you so much. If you want to join the Discord, the links are in the description. Follow me on Twitter, all that stuff, if you guys would like to stay updated with what I'm working on. If you have any ideas for videos, please send them to me. Uh, I'm down to make something new or try a new series or something like that. If you think you got a good idea, let me know. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you on the next one. Tic Tac out.